this is an arithmetic special session as usual like the morning session we'll take up 25 to 30 questions discussing all the concepts first i'll start with easy question arithmetic special question question number one first write down sir question number one two successive increases right in the same order two successive increases of 14.2857 percentage and 12.5 percentage is equal to single increase of two successive increases of 14.2857 and 12.5 percentage is equivalent to single increase of dash percentage as usual 25 to 30 questions concept by concept two successive increases of 14.2857 and 12.5 step number one 14.2857 which is 1 by 7 12.5 percentage which is 1 by 8 so 1 by 7 means on 7 1 increase because it is an increase on 7 1 increase it is 8 8 1 increase it is 9 so one after the other increase so multiply it fundamental principle of multiplication so 7 is becoming a 9 if 7 is becoming a 9 there is an increase of 2 on 7 2 on 7 value is 28.5714 2 out of 7 is 28.5714. 1 by 1 start listening carefully, sir. 2 successive increases of 14.2857 and 12.5. 14.2857 is 1 by 7. On 7, 1 increase, which is 8. 12.5 is 1 by 8. On 8, 1 increase, 9. So if I multiply it, why we are multiplying it? Because it is a successive and it is one event is happening after the other. 8, 1 increase 9. 7 is becoming a 9. If 7 is becoming a 9, there is an increase of 2 on 7. Increase of 2 on 7 is given by 2 by 7, which is 28.5714. 28.5714. Second question. One by one, we will discuss the variety of questions. Second question. Question number 2. Just uh, listen carefully, sir. Good quality questions which we will discuss. Three successive discounts. Three successive discounts of 20% and 16.67%. 16.67% is equal to is equal to single discount of dash percentage three successive discounts of 20 percentage 25 percentage and 16.67 percentage is equivalent to a single discount of what percentage very very good questions 20 percentage is 1 by 5 25 percentage is 1 by 4 16.66 percentage is 1 by 6. Discount means I am losing money. On 5, I lost 1 rupee. Final value is 4. On 4, I lost 1 rupee. Final value is 3. On 6, I lost 1 rupee. Final value is 1. 4, 4 cancel. 5, 5 cancel. 6 has become 3. If 6 will become 3, there is a decrease of 3 on 6 which is nothing but 50 percentage three successive discounts of three successive discounts of 20 25 and 16.66 is equivalent to a single discount of 50 percentage three successive discounts of 20 25 and 16.66 is equivalent to a single discount of 50 percentage i hope the second question is clear now let us take the third question third one idea clear right sir third question let us take the third question question number three one by one almost all the topics i'll try to cover r percentages r percentages 
R percentage is 11.11 percentage compound interest for two years. Compound interest for two years. It is 76. Find the amount and find the principal. Find the amount and find the principal. R percentage is 11.11. Compound interest for two years is 76. Find the amount and the principal. 11.11 is 1 by 9. On 9, 1 increase which is 10. On 9, 1 increase which is 10. So it is 9, 9 is 81. 10, 10 is 100. Extra is nothing but 19. This initial value is the principal. And the final value is nothing but the amount. Extra is nothing but the compound interest. Extra is nothing but the compound interest. 8119. Here it is 19, but according to the question, it is 4. According to the question, it is 4. So amount is nothing but 100 into 4. Sorry. Amount is not yes, amount is 100 into 4, and the principal also it is 81 into 4. Finish answer. I hope the logic is clear. R percentage is 11.11. 9 1 increase, it will become 10. Again, 9 1 increase, it will become 10. One after the other for two years. 9 9 are 81. 10 10s are 100. 81 has become 100. Extra is 19. But according to the question, it is 76. 19 4s are 76. So principal also will become 81 into 4. Amount also will become 100 into 4. Amount is 100 into 4. And the principal is also 81 into 4. I hope this is clear, right? Next, take the fourth question. Take the fourth question. Take the fourth one. Fourth question. Question number four. Question number four. R percentage is 16.67 percentage. 16.67 percentage. Time period is two years. Time period is two years. CI is how much? CI is how much? Amount is 1470. Amount is 1470. Question number 4. Now what will be the answer for this question? 16.67 is 1 by 6. On 6, 1 increase 7. On 6, 1 increase 7. 6, 6 are 36. 7, 7 are 49. 49. But according to the question is 49 is 1470 into 30 times. So CI will become 13 into 30 which is the 390. Why we are in doing one after the other? First year 1 by 6, second year 1 by 6. Fundamental principle of multiplication. Fundamental principle of multiplication. One event is happening. Rate of interest for second year is happening after the first year. One event is happening after other event. If one event is happening after other year, other event it is fundamental principle of it is a fundamental principle of multiplication it is fundamental principle of multiplication it is fundamental principle of multiplication i hope it is clear right sir next question number 5 question number 5 question number 5 question number 5 these are all very very easy questions slowly i will increase the level of difficulty price is increased by 11.11 percentage consumption is decreased by consumption is decreased by 14.2857 percentage consumption is decreased by 14.2857 percentage find the percentage change in the expenditure Find the percentage change in the expenditure. Price is increased by 11.11, which is 1 by 9. 9 1 increase, which is 10. Consumption is decreased by 1 by 7. And 7 1 decrease, which is 6, which is 63. 6 tens are 60. Decrease is 3 and 63, which is 1 by 21. 1 by 21. 1 by 21.
it is just closer to 84 60 60 means 4.7 something 4.7 something question number 5 i hope it is clear right next one question number question number 6 question number 6 these are all very very easy questions question number 6 a sold product to b at 25 percentage b sold it to c at 20 percentage c sold it to d at 16.67 percentage d purchased it for 280 how much a purchased it for a sold a product to b at 25 percentage profit b sold a product to d c at 20 percentage profit right 16.67 is 1 by 7. Now, these also an easy question. 25 percentage is 1 by 4. On 4, 1 increase 5. 20 percentage is 1 by 5. On 5, 1 increase 6. 16.67 is 1 by 6. 6, 1 increase 7. 5, 5, 6, 6. 4 has become 7. So, it is 3 out of 4. So, but final, okay, final he is asking, 7 is becoming 280 into 40, 4 into 40 is 160, A purchased it for 160, such an easy question, just by looking at a question itself, you can get the answer if you know the approach. If you know the approach, you will get the answer so fast, sir, question number 6, question number 7, this is all you should know it, right, question number 7. If you are preparing for your examination, all the shortcuts, you should know it. If you do not know, then you might be in few problems. R percentage is 10 percentage. R percentage is 10 percentage. N is 3 years. CA is 6620. Amount and principal. R percentage is a 10 percentage. N is 3 years. CA is 6620. 10 percentage is 1 by 10. 1 by 10. And 10 1 increase which is 11. Second year 10 1 increase 11. Third year 10 1 increase 11. T is 1000. 11 11 11. 11 cube is 1331. Extra is 331. But according to the question. It is 6620. So into 20. Principal is 1000 into 20. Amount is 1331 into 20. Very easy question if you know it. Extremely easy question if you know the approach. If you do not know these methods, then you file. find it very, very difficult, sir. I hope the idea is clear. Next one. Next one. Question number 8. Question number 8. Principal is how much? Time period is 2 years. Time period is 2 years. CI for second year. CI for second year. CI for second year. Is 20. CI for second year is 20. R percentage is 25 percentage. Listen carefully. Principal is how much? N is 2 years. CI for second year is 20. Now listen carefully. Only R is given. If R percentage is numerator by denominator. N is K years. R K tier. N is K years. R K tier. So principal will become denominator power k assume principal as a denominator power k which i discussed it for my enrolled students i'm just repeating it so 25 percentage is 1 by 4 25 percentage is 1 by 4 so assume principal is 4 2 years right it is 16 so first year 1 by 4 of 16 is 4 Interest is 1 fourth of 16. Second year also 1 fourth of 16 is 4. So here it will be. Again in CI there will be SI plus interest on interest. 
there will be an interest on interest what is one fourth of four one i hope it is clear right if r percentage is numerator by denominator if r percentage is numerator by denominator n is k years or k year assume principal as a denominator power k so 1 by 4 4 square is 16 16 first year 1 fourth of 16 so what is ci for second year ci for second year is 4 plus 1 is 5 but according to the question 20 so 4 so 16 fours are what will be the answer 64 16 fours are what will be the answer 64 first sir we have to discuss a lot of problems 64 i hope the idea is clear if r percentage is numerator by denominator n is k years or k year assume principal equivalent to denominator power k next one next question p is 18000 p is 18000 r percentage is 16.67 percentage r percentage is 16.67 percentage time period is 1 year 73 days time period is 1 year 73 days find the compound interest find the compound interest this is also a very easy question p is 18000 p is 18000 r percentage is 16.67 time period is 1 year 73 days 16.67 is 1 by 6 16.67 is 1 by 6 1 year 73 days means second year is under progression if second year is under progression assume principal as 6 square which is 36 1 sixth of 36 6 1 sixth of 36 6 1 sixth of 6 is 1 this is for the first year and it is for the second year first year and second year 6 plus 1 is 7 so 7 is for 12 months 12 months are 365 days if nothing is mentioned it is a non leap year it is 7 is the interest for 365 days but the question we require is for 73 days 1 by 5 of 7 is 1.4 it is 1.4 this is nothing but 1.4 that means principal is 36 and total it is how much 6 plus 1.4 7.4 6 plus 1.4 is 7.4 but according to the question how much is given the given value is 18,000 so it is 7.4 what it is asking sorry sir it is asking for CI right CI is extra 1.4 so 1.4 into 500 it is 1.4 into 500 i hope the logic is clear 